Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. And tonight we are drinking Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> Each time a new Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Bourbon hits the market, it's a celebration. <laughs> they release them three times a year. So tonight we are tasting the latest three versions of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. We have the B520 that came out in May of 2020, the C920 that came out in September, and the A121, which just came out in January, and we just got our hands on not too long ago. These are just some of my absolute favorite bourbons. Yeah, and let's see how that B520 uh, holds up, because if I remember correctly, that was your bourbon of the year. Whiskey of the year for me, just so good. And the funny thing is, it won the Advent Tournament for me. It was my whiskey of the year. If I had to put them in order, I would say the B520 and the C920, somewhere in the top five collectively for my whiskeys of 2020. I love them both so much. We're not gonna give a full review of the A121, but I will say a couple of quick tasting notes on that bottle. The nose is caramel apple. The mm. palate is caramel apple again, but you know those peanuts that they put on the outside of peanut donuts, like the crushed peanuts oh. with sugar? I was thinking we were gonna say the peanuts on the side of the caramel apple, which is delicious in its own right, but I'll take the donut one. Well, picture a caramel apple with those sugary peanuts on the outside. It's probably the same thing, but that's the way that I picture them. I like, compartmentalize, I can't help myself. I like it. <laughs> and then on the finish, salted caramel, which is C920 also brings that salted caramel. So there are some delicious flavors in this a121 it's a little nutty it's a little fruity it's a lot caramely and some vanilla yeah. and you you're know, excited I, I am <laughs> elijah craig barrel proof bourbon what could be more exciting what could be more fun every single release is cause for celebration and here we are ready to try the latest three releases. I don't even drink the B520 or the C920 anymore unless it's a really special occasion because I like them so much. They're now rare that you're not gonna find more of them out there most likely. So to that end, a lot of you aren't able to find the A121 either, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, not the most readily available bottle out there. I will say this, B520 in terms of satisfaction, wait, is this too much? Well, I'm just like, you're so ramped up. I'm just, I am so, I'm getting excited. I'm a jammer with you. Get ready. In terms of satisfaction, the B520 is my ultimate favorite. The C920, I love it. A121 hasn't been my absolute favorite, but it's been very satisfying. It's been a great Friday sipper for me. We'll get into the proofs and that sort of thing later on, but all of these non-chill filtered, 12 years aged hitters, they're all delicious. And $70 a piece, they used to be 65, they went up $5 per bottle here in Oregon over the last uh, couple of months. 70 is still a great deal as far as I'm concerned. I love this stuff. Are you done talking? Cause uh, I'm ready to do some drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I poured these, Julie mixed them up, totally blind tasting. Norman no supervised. Idea. Norman kept an eye on things, absolutely. Yeah. We have no idea what we're tasting, so <laughs> we don't have the A120, obviously, or anything older than that, so it's just these three latest releases. I'm not upset about it, I can't wait. I am actually quite excited that there's only three, because I get a little lost when we have four, and I just, <laughs> it can, can't make a decision, and I feel like three is a good number for me. Especially when we're talking barrel we'll proof see. whiskey. Yeah. All right, let's get to the nose, and we're gonna start right here on the right-hand side, glass number one. Right. Mm. I like it already. I love this stuff. It's so it's, good. There's, there's a nice sugar note to it. It's brown sugar all day. Yep. Yeah. Some oakiness. Yep. You can actually... Some vanilla. You can actually smell that there's going to be a little heat on the palate. There's some ethanol but here. But it's not overpowering. So there's some that we've had where the ethanol just overtakes you. And I know that these all have kind of a higher proof point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can tell, you know right off, right out of the gate that you're going to get a little bit of heat here. But it, actually the nose is really pleasant. Let's move on to glass number two. Glass number two, can't wait. You know oh, me, i got to go back and forth. This is so subtle compared to glass number one. Yeah, it's definitely... Oh, this is chocolatey, vanilla, caramel and oak. That's, that's it, that's my palette. That's the flavor combination right there. I know, I was like, well, you don't need me here. Chocolate, vanilla, caramel, and it's milk chocolate. Ooh, is that good? 
Are the proof points the same on all three of them? So they are not, and I don't have them memorized oh. off the top of my head. So let me just. Because this actually uh, has a lit, like a tinge more of the ethanol smell to it. So B520 is 127.2 proof. A121 is 123.6 proof. And then 132.8 is the C920. Mama. She's a hot one. On the second glass, you get a little cocoa. Hmm. A little maple, maybe? Maybe. Maybe get, a butterscotch. I'm getting like an Man. apple fruit on this one, too. Are you? So we'll see. Man, I like it. Love a little vanilla on that nose. one. Yes, I love the nose on glass two. Glass three. Ooh, I like this nose. This kind of um, puts me right in the middle of these two. A little more chocolate on this one again. Yeah. Yeah, it's subtle. There's some oak on there. Oak, there's ethanol. I'm ready to get into these. All right. I, I know like you're so, so excited. Much. I am so much. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, chocolatey. Spicy. Woo! Yeah, she's got, <laughs> she's got some heat behind her. Nice malt. Vanilla, caramel, chocolate. Malt's a good, I like the uh, malt tasting note. It's so it's rich. It's just so rich. And it's completely coated. I feel like there's just oak coating my entire mouth. Like some fantastic carpenter has just shaped oh. perfectly a thin layer of oak around my entire mouth. Isn't that weird? Baby hint of cherry underneath that oak, so maybe like a mm. cherry oak yeah. on that. She's a she's a warm one. I mean, they're all gonna be warm yeah. compared to where I'm usually hanging out, but ooh, I like that. Do I dare take a third sip already? Are you on your third? You could take a third. <laughs> I just took my second and I'm well, like no, where sitting here just where <laughs> Where do you I'm think my cherry oak comment came from? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair all right, enough. Alright, I'll hang up. I'll hold back. Have a third sip. Okay, cool. <laughs> I shouldn't it. because otherwise at the end we're gonna be, I'm gonna be stealing your glasses again. It's gonna be a whole thing. That's true. Wow, it does coat phenomenally well. This is all chocolate oaked for me. Exactly, chocolate mm. and, and almost a dryness even though it coats so well. Mm -hmm. Chocolate, it's got a nice oak, finish. vanilla, caramel. Look at me thinking about the finish. It was the first time for everything, and that is the absolute <laughs> first time for that. I know. I like the, the heat on the finish. That is really nice. It's just beautiful. I'm excited, guys. You are excited. Mm. Do you want to go into glass two? Yes, please. All right. Gosh, the... <laughs> I think I'm starting to understand the Elijah Craig flavor profile, because it's like a dark chocolate oakiness to both glass one and two. Do you know when you have like that box of chocolates and there's surprise flavors inside? Yeah. And sometimes it's raspberry, sometimes it's strawberry, sometimes it's vanilla, sometimes it's coconut. Yeah. That sort of thing. That's what I'm starting to feel You're like. Getting all I'm of get, them. I'm getting like <laughs> the first one was like that cherry, the black cherry inside the dark chocolate, and the second one is the milk chocolate with a ton of vanilla inside, and maybe mm. a little bit of caramel. There's a surprise waiting. Like when you get through that first layer of cocoa, there's more there. When we were saying that, I kept thinking, I wonder if he's gonna take out the coconut one. Because that's kind of what I thought about with this. Woo! Yeah, that's that one is a milk this, chocolate this for me. Not, the first one was dark. You still all this heat. <laughs> bringing the heat today. I'm gonna go for a second sip of that one because I really liked that. I got a bunch of vanilla on that one. I will say that for me, this one drinks a lot hotter than glass two. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I'm we'll just see. gonna say right off the bat, this is gonna be an impossible task. I liked that one very much. <laughs> can I say that? You can say anything you want. I liked the first two very, very much. much. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try number three. Here we I'm go. curious. I, I keep thinking one's gonna kinda, you know, take the Some... line and swerve, but Take maybe the not. line and swerve. <laughs> let's find out. Ooh, that one's lighter. Do you think that one's lighter? Yeah, there's the, okay, for me, there's the caramel apple. So I'm getting, because I think maybe with glass number one and two, there was so much chocolatey, uh, like almost like melted chocolatey oakiness to them that mm. this one doesn't have that chocolatey not a, taste. not a ton of chocolate. And so it, on this. it kind of stands apart. Yeah, yeah, this one's pretty it wild. It is more caramely. For sure. I think it's easy drinking. Yeah, I know. Which sounds this is, crazy, because it's gotta good. be at minimum 123 proof, right? Yeah. 
I don't know, it's gonna be tricky for me. I gotta be more objective in this one than just, I can drink that one without passing out in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it is I, all over on the palate. It's coating. Ooh, I just, so it was funny, the nose, I got a little bit of maple, mm -hmm. but when I, I drank, I don't know what sip I'm on, on this one, I think I'm already on three, but when I drank that, I got like a sweeter fruit, more like a strawberry or a berry fruit to it. Yeah, I think it's like a blackberry, yeah, like a maybe, sweet blackberry, a sweet not a tart blackberry. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I... Look at us coming up with some similar tasting notes today. Yeah, and they're probably like totally random and not really on profile, but that's okay. You get what you get. Who cares if it's on profile? I'm having a good time. <laughs> this is great. Okay, so three Ooh, glasses down. That one made me happy. I don't know why, but you know I think I'm that's a like fair tasting note. Stuff. Made me happy. Yeah. All um, right. Do you want to... I love I, going backwards. I can't, wait. I can't wait to go back the other way, but let me say this. If I had to pick one right now, yeah. I couldn't. Three-way tie. Well, they're delicious. They're all delicious. Yeah. They are delicious. They are absolutely delicious. I'm loving well, this. And I'll say, I could totally pick one because one, really, you have one, a favorite. One, one got me like right in the cheeks. Really? Yeah, but That's they're adorable. all adorable. But they're all delicious. Oh, I really goodness. like them. Okay. All right. I'm, you know what? I'm, now I'm feeling excited. You like, know what's crazy? You Look, had jazz hands to start. Now, did I'm, I? now I'm doing jazz hands. <laughs> all right, uh, let's do it the other way. Let's do it the other way. But I Enough? just want to make quick mention here. There are lines on the glasses where the whiskey is still holding strong it's still coating the glass do you see it line line oh line. yeah i have one right here too that's bananas i know i was thinking that you so were bad? judging my my capacity Come here on the bottom on. but I, yes i agree who am i, I to judge the yours. way you drink i like this all righty let's go to are we glass three again okay oh i do get that apple now hmm Holy smokes, is this stuff good? This one drinks lighter, but I don't necessarily mean that it is the lower proof. No, not necessarily, but I, I will say this. I, I get honey instead of dark chocolate on this one. I think this is why I like this one so much. I mean, I, of course, love chocolate, but you know my palate runs a little bit sweeter, and I am very much enjoying glass number three. I'm going to move on to two. Let's do it. So that we're not here all day. I don't care if I spend all <laughs> night here. If it takes 24 hours to get to the bottom of this one, I'm going to refill and refill again. Oh, the smell on this one. Oh, it's a chocolate bomb. And this one is. It wants me to. He wants me to, to get inside. Uh, <laughs> it wants me in the in the glass. I know this is not a flavor uh, note that belongs with Electric Craig, but it almost smells like chocolate covered bananas. I don't know why, but every time I nose glass number two and then take a sip, I get a little bit of chocolate covered bananas. Something maybe almost like a little... Like a little banana? Like well, a plantain? <laughs> not like a plantain. But I was like thinking like an older one, like it's a overripe banana, but it's been like coated in like a really nice chocolate. I don't know, there's just something a tad sweet about it, Yeah. but it's getting overwhelmed by the dark chocolate. I actually like that because the overripe banana could be overly sweet. And it's mm. almost like an almond to me, like a really sugary toasted almond. But the chocolate sort of balances it out. It brings it back. I actually think that this one is phenomenal. Ooh, I just got a... I actually... <laughs> my, I was I spying your glasses versus I spying mine. And I... I got a little bit of maybe like a chocolate covered cherry note on that one. So I got a little yeah. cherry on that one there, that I really liked. This one above the others reminds me of that like chocolates in a box with the surprise yeah. inside. Cause this one, the vanilla shows up on the finish out of nowhere. Yeah. You don't get it at all. And then boom, there it is. It's, it's a nice surprise. It's, it's a, such a fun surprise. I like it. My voice gets really high there. It did. All right, glass number one? Glass number one. I just want to point out that this one smells like bourbon. Mm -hmm. And it's very sugary. The Super nose dark is so sugar, right? sugary. Brown sugar. Yeah. Ooh, is that good? I didn't even put it in my mouth. I just said, ooh, is that good? It <laughs> smells that good that I was like, I know this is going to be good. I'm going to put... Uh, That's bonkers. On the way out... I said number two is the hottest, but on the way back, 
Whew, I'm gonna Your say eyes that are num- I know number one is the hottest. This was I agree. This was a hot one. So I, I totally agree. It almost it almost took away from my beautiful comment about how it was like a chocolate covered something or other cherry or whatever and very sugary on the nose. Ooh, it took, maybe it, this is something that chocolatiers. It almost took me by surprise on that one. Don't you think that maybe chocolatiers should take it under advisement, like make a surprise chocolate with oak in the middle? Well, I don't think anyone wants to get... Maybe not like real oak. Oak chunks. <laughs> like oak flavor. <laughs> <laughs> like oak flavor. I'm not saying like put chunks of barrel inside. Yeah. Though some people might might be okay with that. Ooh, I like this one. Mm. It is all chocolate, all oak for me. But it, a sugary nose. You, but a sugary chocolate. You're oak. right. I think... Okay, I, I totally agree with you. I think number glass number one here is our hottest one. I also think it brings the most to the party. It's There's fun. There's a ton. Yes. Yeah. There's that fun tasting note. Just if you like, like that note, here we I are got, for you. It might have been like all of, it might have been whoop, whoop, but I got a nice hug going. Yeah? I am all warm and cozy inside. Look at you. <laughs> this is, yeah. But phenomenal. glass number one really does, like, it, it has a nice coating. It's great finish. It's warm. I love the heat of the finish. I'm going to say that. Like, yeah. it was warm on the I palate, but I love the heat of the finish. I love that note. Absolutely. Yeah. I totally agree that, yes, it's definitely hot, but mm. wow, does it bring a lot to the party. This is great. This is going to be tricky for me because instinctively, I want to mm. say like, oh, glass number three is my favorite because it's the easiest one to drink. It's a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit lighter. But I feel like I was like gushier over glass number one. <laughs> I'm not sure I enjoyed it while I was drinking it. Sure. But I am like jazzed about the finish. That's the thing. I think a lot of new whiskey drinkers don't realize what the finish brings to the party, just how much it affects the overall tasting experience. And a lot of people just keep sipping, keep sipping, keep sipping. Just sit with your whiskey for a a minute and see how it goes it can change your perception of an entire bottle it can it can change everything every whiskey hits every palate different and every palate is different so uh, i'm excited yeah so trust I, your palate and respect your palate you you be you you deserve it is that our new tagline trust your palate respect your palate i kind of like that yeah. <laughs> we don't do a lot of t-shirts but we might start i know I'm going to do some A-B testing. Let's do it. And I will say that there's not one of these that I did not enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're very different. Norman's going to help me here. I'm doing that weird thing where I move my glasses backwards and forwards because for some reason that psychologically helps me. (laughs) It's like an equalizer. Yeah. You do know that I'm going to have have to have you pour some into my glasses because I'm almost gone. You can drink the rest of the bottle. I just get these glasses. Tonight? <laughs> Cat's thirsty, I guess. If you didn't know, our cat likes to drink out of pint glasses because he's... Classy. Thinks he's a human. He thinks he's a human. And he's not um, a cat. All right, back to it. Sorry. Yeah. Do you I need died. more? Because I, I actually have my decisions made. Oh, you do? I do. Um, yeah, and I said it before. I love all of these. Uh, in terms of satisfaction, V520, C920, A121, in that order is how I've enjoyed them. With a blind tasting, things get weird. You never know how things are going to play off of one another. Whatever happens here, I'm still going to hold true to that. I think B520 is the standout. C920 is excellent. A121 is just a little bit behind those, but you know what, it doesn't really matter. Do you know what what's what? Do you have an idea? Honestly, not really. I don't know and I ultimately don't care. These are all great. Okay, I got it. Wow. No no joke. Double snaps. All right, so number three. Number three for me is glass three. Which came in second place for me. Hit me with it. C920. What was your third place? My third place was glass number two. It just did not do anything for me for some reason. Really? Even though it That was my winner. Really? Like, I ignored it because... Ignored it. Yeah, because basically, like, number one overshadowed number two. Mm-hmm. And for me, glass number three was, you know, sweeter. Yeah, well, which overshadowed honest. number two. And so I just chucked it in. Wow. <laughs> and so third. we didn't get any of these the same. No. So glass number two, for me, was number one, A121. Well, that makes sense to me because the B520 
I love. Which I'm actually, then puts the B520 in first place for me. And the A121 is in first place for me. The thing that's crazy about that is we both agreed that glass one was the hottest tasting glass and A121 <gasps> is the least Wait. hot one. I will say this. They Look were all me. so good. It was hard to actually choose a favorite, but I'm not surprised. Oh my gosh. Your excellent palate picked B520 for first place. A121 surprise winner for me. Yeah. But all of these are just stellar whiskeys. I mean, I feel like tomorrow I could try them all and pick them completely different order and still be just as happy. So I'll say Elijah Craig, not something I normally grab off the shelf. New appreciation for it. I liked them all. They do run a bit hotter than my palate really likes, but let me take you through my rundown because Let's completely go. different than Phil's. Completely. So for me, number one, B520. Sure. It's awesome. Which did really well for me so in good. the tournament. I loved it. Number two for me, C920, which shockingly was the hottest. Mm -hmm. That's weird. I still can't get over that. And in third place, A121. My first place? A121, second place, B520, third place, C920. I am completely shocked that A121 finished where it did, but I'll say this, on a Friday night, I'm not mad at any of these. These are my favorite Friday night whiskeys, and they're really, honestly, every time they release another one of these, yeah. it's my favorite thing that I've tasted for the last three or four months. I can't wait for them to come out with every new one, and. B521 is right around the corner. I cannot wait. This was such a fun time. What are you gonna you gonna have one of mine? You well, gonna check out? I which forgot one which switched? one I liked, so uh, I'm gonna see glass number one. Swiping that one. Okay, so the B520 is gone off the table for me. All right, well, it could be worse. Well, we hope that you had a great time watching this. So let us know, what's your favorite batch? Could be anything before 2020, A120, we never had. Anything before <laughs> that, we never had. Let us know, what are we missing out on? What's the best batch? Check us out on Instagram, at The Bourbon Van. Like, comment, subscribe, and from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers.